I think that rationally introverts know that they want to have time with people, they know that social connection matters, but intuitively we don't want to actually schedule time seeing people. We often resent having social plans, we often want to cocoon ourselves in our cave and have blocks and blocks of unscheduled time on our calendar. The problem is that when you do that too much, it leads to feeling isolated, you start to go a little bit mad, you start to feel um, frustrations and anxieties because you're not getting those social needs met and it can kind of send you into a sort of existential despair if you're not careful. So for me, the introvert's dilemma is <laughs> needing to get our social needs met but also battling a constant desire for our own solitary company. And I'm someone who does believe in intuition, like intuition can guide you really well in your uh, seeking your passion, your career, your relationships, you know, your gut instinct can be really, really important and you can it cost a lot from not listening to it. But in this area, I realized my instinct is just not serving me. It often tells me, it leans me more towards being on my own. It leans me more towards passivity in the realm of social contact. And then I think, God, why haven't I seen that person in a year? Why haven't I connected with that friend? And it's because I've allowed the relationship to get to that place. Or maybe we both have because we're both that way. And one big lesson I learned in this area is that I have to trust my memory of the past more than I trust my current instincts. And I know this sounds a bit overly rational thinking about something as simple as seeing your friends, but I am the kind of person who will book something in my calendar and immediately sort of regret and resent that I've now gonna spend that time socializing and I think, oh no, I've got that event coming up. Do I have to go? Do I have to bother going and get ready, get dressed, go out, get on the train, get in a car, go to that event, whatever. Uh, but then I come back from it and I think, man, I'm really glad I did that. That was great, that was so nourishing. I'm, I'm really glad I connected with that person and sort of uh, spend that time with that friend because they're really important to me. So I have to go back and remember the times that I was nourished by those social events that I, oh, you do really enjoy it when you go to that party or when you went to that thing. And you can still do it on your own terms. Like you might say, well, I only want to go to the party for three hours and then I'm going to come home or I only want to see someone for lunch or a coffee and that's good, then I'm good. That's all fine, but it's really important to not listen to your instinct to hermit yourself in in that moment. If you are naturally introverted and inclined that way like I am to sort of hide into your cave, then I think it's really good to just put aside instinct in those moments Schedule like a couple of social events in your week, kind of spread apart, and just know that after those events, you are going to feel rejuvenated. You are going to feel more connected. You are going to feel like, ah, oh, I have those solid friendships in my life. That makes me feel good. That makes me feel grounded. And then it makes all the, you know, the times when you're going to go back to do that solo time is going to be more pleasurable. You're going to feel better. You're going to feel more connected to the world, even when you're doing something on your own. Let me know in the comments below if you struggle with this introvert's dilemma, as I'm calling it, and uh, how you get through it, how you get over it, kind of your tactics and strategies to make yourself socialize and do those things that are good for your soul. I'll see you soon.